Okay, this is vlog 46 and it is May the 17th. And in Psalm 17, verse 2, these are one of those scriptures that I constantly look at to keep myself focused and hopefully on the right track. And it says, Let my vindication come from your presence. Let my vindication come from your presence. Not my theology. My vindication doesn't come from my theology or my doctrine or what I believe or what I don't believe. David's saying, let my vindication not come from the strength of my bow or my spear or my sword or my shield or my fighting abilities, but let my vindication come from your presence. The manifested presence of God in the life of the believer is absolutely essential in the days we're living in. The 21st century is a time when the manifested presence of God is going to increase and increase. Moses said this, basically he said, if your presence doesn't go with us, I'm not going. How many people are doing things with good intentions and good works, but there is no manifested presence of God? The manifested presence of God causes the supernatural to break out. It doesn't cause the natural to break out, it causes the supernatural to break out. The manifested presence of God appeared in the upper room at Pentecost. And from that moment on, everything changed. Everything changed. It changed in the life of the apostles. It changed in the life of the 120. It changed the life of 3,000 people very, very quickly. It changed the lives of another 2,000 people. It changed the life of the guy who was paralyzed at the gate. Beautiful. The manifested presence of God changes things. It says in Psalms, it says that, the mountains melt like wax at your presence. That's tremendous. Is there a mountain in your life? Is there an obstacle in your life? Is there something going in your, on in your life or in the life of your family or your area that seems immovable? Well, it is written. The word of God says that the mountains just melt like wax at the presence of God. The presence of God will be uh, evident and will be seen and will be experienced and will be heard in your life when the presence manifests. God is, omni God is omnipresent. The Holy Spirit is omnipresent, which means he's everywhere all the time. But it is the manifested presence that brings our vindication. If you believe you've got a ministry, then your author, your, the validation of that ministry is the manifested presence of God. Supernatural things will constantly be going on around you. What is the uh, vindication of a teacher? What is the vindication of an Ephesians 4 teacher? Well, if you look at John chapter 3, verse 2, Nicodemus, sneaking around at night time, goes to see Jesus and he says this, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. So whether you are called to be a teacher or a pastor or a prophet or an apostle or an evangelist or somebody who gets lays the chairs out in your church building or makes the tea or whatever you're called to do, if it is a ministry that you've been given, your vindication comes from his presence. The supernatural signs and wonders that are at work in and through you will validate who you are. This is a constant challenge to me from the last 34 years, that if there's not supernatural things happening by the Spirit of God in and through and around me, then there's something wrong because I'm not being vindicated by him. The ministry he's given me, the graces he's given me, the anointing he's given me are not being validated by him. I don't have any authentication to move out because there's nothing happening. My question to you is, think about, think about the church you used to go to 46 days ago or how many days or weeks it is since you're actually there think about it and is the manifested kingdom presence of god a regular occurrence or is it does it sometime happen does it never happen or have you got to walk down to the front of the building to get somebody to put their hands on you before something happens 
You are a royal priest. You are a king and a royal priest in the order of Melchizedek if you're born again and baptized in the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit wants to validate his life, his ministry, his power, his glory, his kingdom through you. The supernatural should be a cocoon around your life. The su and anybody who walks into that cocoon or the supernatural should be a, a, a resonating sphere of glory around you. And then when people come into your presence, they know that they're coming into contact with Almighty God. The time that we are in now is a time where we need to be getting a hold of God, getting a hold of the Holy Spirit and getting a new uh, infilling and revelation about the manifested presence because this world my nation, my region, my city needs a manifested presence of God. Remember, Jesus is Lord and the Lord is a warrior.